What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this episode of Restoration with Vic. Today we got these Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs that belong to my buddy Jay Collector. Today I'm gonna show you guys a few quick ways on how to keep your Travis Scott's look at 100 at all times. So without further ado, let's get it going. From my experience working with Travis Scott Jordan 1 Highs, this is a really easy shoe to clean up, especially in this condition. So we will be using Rejuvenate's Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. Even if the shoe was completely trashed all around, I would still use this kit. I would never put the shoe inside the washing machine just because this brown suede can bleed onto the stitching of the outsole and cause permanent damage. Let's take out our shoelaces. Next, we're gonna grab our shoe tree, adjust it to size, and place it inside the shoe to help us minimize the creasing on the toe box. Now we're gonna grab our four ounce bottle of solution, squirt two squirts inside our bowl of water. We're good to go. Again, the shoe isn't in bad condition, so I'm gonna be using our soft bristle brush to go over the entire upper without oversaturating the suede. Good to go with the uppers. I didn't oversaturate the suede too much and I pat it down dry immediately so I wouldn't ruin the material. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue using the saw bristle brush now on the insides to get it all cleaned up. All right, we're good to go with the uppers, you guys. All done with the saw bristle brush. We're not gonna be using the medium bristle brush as well on this cleaning at all. There's just no need for it. We will be using our stiff bristle brush to clean up the outsoles and midsoles. Cleaning is all done, you guys. This was really easy. We're gonna let these sit outside for a few hours, let them dry so we can come back and finish up this restoration. After a few hours of putting the shoe under the sun, they are fully dried and ready to go. As you can see, the brown suede did not bleed at all onto the white leather or the outsole. Now, it is a little bit rough. That's where the medium bristle brush comes in handy. We're gonna go over the entire brown suede to reset the nap on the suede to give it back its buttery original texture. The suede is back to its original buttery texture. Looks even better than before. Now, when I was cleaning up the insides, I noticed how bad this insole was. It's covered in hair, lint, debris, all sorts of stuff. I should have done this first, but we're gonna do it now. Let me pull out this insole real quick. Show you guys a better look. Now for this, we're gonna be using our medium bristle brush, a lint shaver, and a vacuum to get it back to as clean as possible. Insole's fully cleaned up. We got rid of all the debris all around. The small stains you see right here on the bottom of the insole and the side is from the dye from the lint. That's not gonna come off, so I'm not gonna bother cleaning it. We are gonna move on to removing all the little threads that are loose from around the edges. This really bothers me. It messes with my OCD. This is from all the brushing we did and just the wear and tear. We're gonna go ahead and chop them off using some scissors. Loose threads are all cleaned up. I even went back with the lighter to make sure all those loose threads don't come back later. Now we're onto the toe box. The shoe tree did help minimize the creasing, but this type of tumble leather gets creased super easily. So for this, we'll be using the iron method to completely get rid of it all. The thing with this, the shoe does contain suede. You don't want the rack to be super wet because it will oversaturate the material. You just want to dampen, not soaked.
toe box is taking shape. The suede is still as soft as my pillow. Now the last step we gotta do is take care of this deep scratch right next to the Travis Scott logo. This isn't leather so I can't go in and paint it nor fill it in with leather filler. The best thing I could do is use some 400 grit sandpaper and sand it down to get rid of all the roughness and try my best to blend it in with the rest of the suede. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on this project of the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. Real easy restoration. If you guys follow these five easy tips, you will preserve the value of your Travis Scott Jordan 1s. The shoe isn't going anywhere, the price will only continue to go up. Let's take it from the top. The very first step I did was give the shoe a proper deep clean and set it out using Rejuvenator's essential shoe cleaning kit that you can find at Rejuvenator.com. That's the only kit that's gonna get this shoe perfectly cleaned up. Once I was good to go, we cleaned up the insides. The insides were covered in debris, lint, hair, all sorts of stuff. We got it all cleaned up fully disinfected, moved on to the uppers, gave the toe box a nice reshape, and lastly, removed the scratch on the back piece. This could have been the trickiest part of this whole restoration, but it turned out to be really easy. I sanded it down, blended in with the rest of the suede. If you look at it in different angles, you can't even see that it's there. That was pretty much it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.